What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the brand new Artly Manor. Now this is a portable DLP video projector which also supports 3D. You have built-in Wi-Fi with a custom version of Android and the projector is capable of projecting your movies, games and videos on a massive 120 inch screen. And inside the box you will find a user manual, a mini tripod made out of metal with extendable legs, you're getting a carrying pouch made from suede or velour and finished in black, a UK power adapter USB and the voltage is 5 volts 3000 MA and you also get a micro USB to USB A cable to go with it. This comes with a standard remote control but you will notice at the top a 3D button so yes this projector does support 3D so you'll be able to play your 3D videos and games and the remote control is powered by two AAA batteries which I have already installed. And last but certainly not least, the projector itself. So here it is guys, an absolutely tiny little projector. The projector outer case top and bottom is made from metal and you've got this nice silver finish. And all the inner black parts of the projector are actually made from plastic. Now on the top of the projector you have an LED charging light. You've got your logos, it says Artly and DLP. Now let's have a look at the front of the projector first of all. So here you will find your projector lens with some ventilation. On the side we have more vents and on the back of the projector we have an infrared port for your remote control, an audio jack for your headphones or speakers, you have an HDMI in where you can connect your favourite game console, tablet, Android TV box and enjoy it on a massive 120 inch screen. You also have a full size USB port where you can attach a hard drive and run your movies directly off the hard drive. Thereafter we have a physical power button and a micro USB charging port. And on this side we have another standby power button and next to that you have your focus adjustment. Now this projector does have automatic keystone correction. And this is what the bottom of the projector looks like and you do have a small tripod screw which is a universal fit and it will allow you to attach this to any tripod or even a ceiling mount. Now let's quickly go through the projector specs. This is an LED video projector, it supports DLP and active 3D, so you do need active 3D glasses which are not included. Now energy efficiency is 10 watts, lamp life is 20,000 hours, brightness is 50 ANSI lumens and the native resolution is 854 by 480 so it's a 480p projector. Contrast ratio is 1000 to 1 and the maximum optimal screen size is 120 inches. Now you do have an HDMI input for game consoles and tablets etc and that will interpolate the 480p to 1080p and I'll show you what that looks like pretty soon. Wi-Fi, AirPlay and Miracast are included. You have a custom version of Android but you can't really do anything with it. You can't install APKs or anything like that. It's basically just a system menu. You've got built-in speakers and a 5200 milliamp hour battery. Now the dimensions of this product, it's 11 centimeters in width, 9.8 centimeters in height and 3.8 centimeters in depth and weighs only 900 grams. So without further ado, let's get this little projector all connected up, give it a full test for videos, games and trailers etc and find out exactly how good it performs. I'll be right back. I've got the projector all set up. We are 3 meters away from that wall in front of us and we are projecting around 100 inches. So the first thing I would like to test is the fan noise. So let's switch this sound meter on and find out how loud this projector is. So I have briefly turned the light on to show you what the projection quality would look in the daytime and as you can see it's quite visible, you can see what's on the screen so you can get away with watching this in the daytime but let's go ahead and switch that light off. And just like the cinemas the projector is designed to be used in the dark. Now this is what you see when you first turn on the projector, you've got a media section. So when you go to media you plug in a USB drive and you can run your movies, music, photos directly off the drive. So if we go back, you've got Miracast, iOS Cast, Setup and HDMI. So if you click on HDMI and you've got a game console plugged in, or if you've got your Amazon Fire TV Stick TV box plugged in, you'll be able to enjoy that on the big screen. Now quickly have a look at Setup. 
you can see we're connected to Wi-Fi. From here, you can adjust your brightness, keystone correction, and horizontal correction as well. You've got some advanced settings here, including updates. And here's some additional information. Now this is running Android, but you can't do anything with the Android. You can't install any APKs. I have tried. So it's basically Android as a system menu. So you can't actually do anything with the Android. Now one thing you can do is Miracast. So I'm about to test this out with my Zen phone. Click on Cast. So I'm trying to do Miracast. Nothing's come up yet. Oh, now it has ZY cast. That's exactly what we're looking for. So we are trying to mirror our mobile phone screen directly to the projector. So let's see if it works. So I have tried connecting to mirror cast with two different devices, but unfortunately it does not seem to work. So I can't get the built in mirror cast to work with this projector, unfortunately. Okay, so let's just go straight to HDMI and see what this projector can do. So I've got the Mikul KM9 Pro plugged in. So let's go ahead and try a few movies, trailers and games and see what this projector can do. Let's begin with some YouTube trailers. So there you have it guys, that was the new Artly Manor. A great quality mini LED video projector which supports Active 3D. And when I did eventually get hold of a pair of 3D glasses, I was certainly blown away by the quality. So you can play 3D movies from USB, online streaming and HDMI sources like Blu-ray players etc. Now this is a projector that does 480p natively and supports 1080p interpolated but nevertheless I was quite surprised to see that the projection quality was much brighter and clearer than I expected it to be. Even at 100 inches I could walk right up to the screen and see no pixelation at all. So that brings me to my top LED video projector chart for 2019 showing you what's new and ranking them by a rating out of 10. So as you can see, the new Artly projector has secured position 10 on this chart with a rating of 9 out of 10. Now the internal speakers were actually pretty good quality, but the volume was not very loud. It's certainly enough for a small room or bedroom. However, if you were to use this in a large living room, then I recommend you to attach your own speaker system via the audio jack port. Now this box does have a built-in Android system but this is unfortunately limited as a system menu and you have some screen mirroring options along with your main settings. Now it would be nice to have an open Android system to play with but the HDMI port certainly makes up for it as you can attach any Android TV box, Fire Stick, game console etc and enjoy it on a massive 100 inch screen and you have the added bonus of Active 3D. 
Bottom line, this is probably the best portable 3D DLP projector you can currently buy for around $200. You have surprisingly good quality from a 480p projector. You have active 3D, three hour battery life, airplay, and it's low powered, so you can power this off a power bank. And you have a very well designed metal build quality, which keeps things running smooth and cool. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.